Hello my beautiful people, welcome to the next in the numerology series of personal year videos uh, with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and if you if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you. So with that said, personal year number six, uh, this is for, you know, whatever year you are in when you're watching this, I truly hope that it helps you and serves you in some way, shape or form. Um, so, it, you know, sit back, have a listen and enjoy. The tagline for the personal year six is I nourish. The number six is all about nourishment and nurturing. Um, so here we go, here's your tagline. I nourish, and this is all about divine service. This is about understanding what it is to be of service, what it is to take responsibility for something or someone other than yourself. This is very often a year where people settle down. It's very often, um, you know, one thing that I wanna talk about here is just quickly before we go into this. Uh, this come home energy, the number six has a very com coming home sort of energy to it. And the reason being is after the personal year five, which is all hustle and bustle, you know, here, there and everywhere, being a complete and utter Felicia, you know, bye every five minutes, you're off somewhere different and doing something else. Whereas the, the sixth year is about bringing it back to the home, right? So this is a year for nurturing. It's a year for nourishment. And we're talking about nurturing and nourishing on a soul level level as well as uh, other levels right um, so nurturing being of service uh, you know being of divine service as well so I've given each one of the numbers uh, an aspect of divinity and the aspect that the number six got was divine service it's understanding how to be in that energy and be completely comfortable with it uh, this is a compassionate energy. It's all about healing and being or living a growthful experience, an expansive experience, but one that is gentle and sustained, not just kind of like a bang and, you know, it's not like an overnight thing, it's a process. And then finally, family. Um, the number six is a very, very family orientated year. It's a year for you to really pay attention to what happens in your immediate family and your wider, you know, your wider circle of family. If you're one of those people that doesn't have a lot of family and your, you know, your family is made up of your friends, the people, you know, the family that you choose, they could become uh, a lot more prominent in your life and you could find that you become, um, you know, more responsible for them. And that's, you know, it could be in any way, shape or form. So uh, let's have a look at some of the blessings and the lessons of the personal year six. This is a year for you to learn how to be reliable. You've got to stand by your word. The number six uh, will put responsibility on you. And for that reason, it makes you more mature. It makes you more responsible. Uh, some of the, um, the, you know, that whole thing about reliability, it's about people knowing or coming to understand over the course of this year that they can rely and depend on you. Um, and you will feel this pretty much straight away, uh, you know, and it, it very often kind of shapes up as experiences. So uh, then I talk, you know, we talked about come home. This is very much a year for nesting, you know, coming back to the home. It's a great year to buy a home or to settle into a home or uh, start a, a home service, home-based business, right? Um, this is a great year for you to conceive. A lot of, uh, a lot of people fall pregnant in two years and six years and um, yeah, I would say two and six are probably the, the, the most, sometimes four, two and six are probably the, the most likely for, uh, you know, starting a family, so to speak. Uh, this is a year for you to be, um, to, yet yeah, to conceive. It's a year for you to find your inner kindness, to find that, um, and we're not talking so much about humanitarian, we're just talking about that kindness that comes from the spirit, that nourishing and nurturing energy, where you see everybody outside of yourself and even people of the world as a member of your family. This is a year where you'll discover that everybody is worthy and deserves love. Um, you know, it's a year for you to be really honest. Now, the beauty of this is, um, let's say, 
the five year, you'll be quite honest as well. Um, but it will be more in sort of like a brash in your face kind of way, even with the four energy. Uh, again, very, very similar. Um, you know, so fours will deal with the facts. Fives will just say it how it is. Sixes will find the diplomatic solution. How do I tell this person what they need to know in a way that isn't, you know, that gets the message across, that gets the message home, but doesn't necessarily hurt their feelings? Or if it does hurt their feelings, I reduce how much that is. That's the beauty of the six energy. Um, so this year will make you much more responsible. Now, the thing about a six year as well, you may very well find that the responsibilities are kind of thrust on you. And because it is a six year, it's very similar to a two year, very similar to a four year. This is about slowing things back down. You know, the five year was taking it up and fast, vibrant, rah, let's do everything. Um, whereas the six brings it back more to more to a baseline. It doesn't sort of bob up and down. And you might find that a lot of responsibilities are placed on you in the personal year six. Now, if you accept them, if you just say, right, okay, you know what, this is what my aspect of, of learning and understanding divine service is about. This is what this year is trying to teach me. This is what this vibration is trying to teach me. If you meet it like that, and just kind of, you know, when you think about parents, oh my gosh, when I think back to how needy and demanding, like, don't get me wrong, life wasn't a picnic, but when I think back to how I was towards my parents at certain points, um, you know, I kind of think to myself like, oh, cringe, you know, there are moments where I'm sure every single, and I'm not a parent, but there are moments where every single one of them thinks, oh my fucking God, like, what is it now? What more could you possibly want or need? Um, but they do it anyway, right? Because they understand that it's their responsibility. So this year, when re responsibility is placed on you or thrust on you, if you just find it in yourself to be patient and to accept it, you will sail through this year, right? Just kind of take it as one of those things as this is my job this year. And as long as I can get part, now the trick is don't let people know that right? If you went around saying to everybody, oh, I'm on a yes month, so I have to say yes to everything, right? They're going to pile it on thick. Don't let people know that this is the case, but find it within yourself to meet all of your responsibilities um, as if they are things that you just have to do, that you accept. That surrender and that acceptance will really fast track all of your results and it will see you sail through this year very easily. Um, growth. This is a year to grow. It's a year to expand. Now, the beauty of this year, you don't have to work very hard for money. It will find you. It will be there. All of the resources that you need under a six year tend to just show up. Um, now, the thing about that is because you are taking on more, more responsibility for others, you might not necessarily be able to keep much of that money. You might not be able to necessarily, uh, you know, hold on to much of it. It's definitely a year for savings. You can grow your savings, but you might find that there are things that you end up sort of needing to step in or intervene on. So if you look at it that way, it won't be such a, such a like, you know, wow, all this money's coming in, but it's going straight out. Um, healing. This is a great year to pursue any healing profession. It's a great year to pursue any personal healing that you have to do, whether this is um, on a mental level, a spiritual level, a physical level, maybe it's all three of those. This is a really great year for doing any self-healing work or assisting somebody through their own healing journey. And then finally, uh, the service, right? Be of service to people. Go and volunteer. Uh, if you, you know, and this is the thing, it doesn't all have to be financial responsibility. This can be just you, uh, you know, finding other ways to do this sort of stuff or to be in the world or to be of service to the world in ways that um, that matter, that, you know, that mean something for the world, that you're putting out a, a really good, beautiful, positive energy. So your lessons for the number six, uh, going back to that sort of parental energy, in a, uh, in a <laughs> personal year six, and I'm just remembering back to mine, I'm like, mm, at what moments did I express this? Um, you can be quite smothering. 
um, you know, or you can be almost quite clingy, you know, and a big part of this is when so much responsibility is placed on you, when you have to be so reliable and there is so much, you know, depending on you, you can get a bit sort of, you know, that mother hen sort of energy, like that hen pecking energy can come in. So just try to, to ride that out or find ways of, you know, uh, if that's the case and you find yourself doing that, maybe tend to the garden, uh, maybe tend to animals, tend to things that can't speak back or don't necessarily, you know, you go in, you do what you need to, to maintain and, and look after, and then you kind of leave it alone. So gardening's a really good one for that. Um, this can be a year where you're very, uh, where you become selfish. And this isn't like, you know, let's say the five energy is selfish because it's like me, me, me. Um, this is more from a, a, a point of, right, well, I am the centre of all of this because I am responsible for everything. Do you know what I mean? Like you could get into that sort of very, um, you know, high and mighty sort of selfish. It's not like the, you know, I, I'm just about myself because under this energy, it's just not possible to be that way. Uh, manipulative. This could be a, an energy where if it's unconscious within you, the six can make you quite emotionally, um, emotionally manipulative. You might succumb to emotional blackmail or um, with the expectant part, you might expect people just to know how you feel or know what you want or know what it is that you expect them to do. Um, and that can sort of hang around and you know if it goes unchecked it can cause a little bit of a an ugly feeling maybe even like a little bit of resentfulness um i got my trusty notes here as well so uh complacent um because this year you'll find content in the small things in the everyday in the you know what's present in the here and now you could just kind of go into this sort of like la 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 yeah everything's cool it'll be fine you know i'm, I'm dealing with it all um you need to be proactive but not forceful all right but you know be content but don't be complacent uh, gossipy and dramatic, uh, you know, wherever there is family, wherever there are family ties and connections, you're always going to get drama. Um, it just goes kind of with the territory. So this is a year for you to really discover how not to get into all of that. Be present, do what you need to do, be of service, uh, you know, be responsible, be reliable, all of those things, but don't be in that stuff, you know, let everybody else do that. Duplicitous. Um, you know, when I say duplicitous, what I kind of mean is this goes back to the emotional manipulation. You could find yourself sort of playing each other off so that you can keep the, the control or the, you know, that responsibility sort of could, you could kind of become a bit of a control freak. So <laughs> find a way to ride this energy out, all right? Because if it goes, on, you know, the lessons are there because they remind you of the unconscious parts of yourself. And that's why I haven't put positive and negative or anything like that. They're blessings that will enhance life and they're lessons that if you're unconscious, these are things that could bite you in the butt. Marta, the six energy or the personal year six, you could just be like, oh, well, you know, I'll just suffer for my art or I'll just, you know, there isn't anybody else to do it. I must do all of this and take it all on my shoulders and sigh about it very loudly because I, you know, uh, so there is that kind of energy that it kind of permeates. Um, also, you could find that this year you just become natural, because you become more giving, more kind, more nurturing, more nourishing, more parental in a sense, you know, whether you've got kids or whether you don't, you just become more of a, a universal parent. You could find yourself ending up being a bit of a doormat or being very self-sacrificing. So if you're already noticing this kind of energy, um, nip it in the bud now, right? It's, it's great to be of service, it's great to be giving, it's great to be responsible or to assume responsibility for things and people that can't assume it for themselves. It's not okay for you to be a doormat. You're here to be of service to humanity, but not to be its servant. All right, that's my, my biggest tagline for myself and my path and what I do. I'm here to be of service, but I'm not here to be a servant, all right? So this is a year two. 
slow down and come back home after all of your travels and worldly interaction and whirlwind romances and what just whirlwind everything of the five year it's time to come home to slow it back down to find more of a baseline uh, it's a good year to buy a home or uh, make a home it's a great year for couples to move in together um, you know for finding something that's a bit more concrete that's a bit more uh, long term for the pair of you uh, it's a great year to accept responsibility and be of service. We talked about that. Address any and all family situations. And if you can, in any way, shape or form, help out. Be present. You know, know what's going on with the kids. Know what's going... This is about being more of an active participant in the family. And because you show up more in the family or in the family dynamic that's where the responsibility will come and it's kind of like a process where people will say oh okay well they're a bit more present so maybe i can trust them with more you know and it's it's not about you know um or, de or being delegated to it's about people opening up to you and saying well actually you know what this is what i've been struggling with or this is what i've been working on or this is what i can't seem to move past you know there'll be a lot of people confiding in in you this year and not necessarily just family members um, a great year to start a family. Um, this is uh, a great year as well to do maintenance on everything that you know, uh, everything that you own. So um, if you've got a home, you know, fix the shutters, uh, you know, fix the driveway, prune the garden, um, you know, paint the walls, you know, chuck out, well, not necessarily chuck out, but make your home beautiful, comfortable and inviting. The other thing is as well, in the sixth year, your home tends to be, you know, you might as well want to fit a bloody revolving door because just people come in and go in constantly. In my year six, and even at the time, I was living in a tiny little space not too long ago. Like, um, I'm in a nine year now, so three years ago. Um, yeah, no, four, yeah, it was just about four years ago now. Um, yeah, <laughs> like, even though I lived in a tiny space, it was just always full. There was always someone around. Always somebody on the phone, always somebody coming in, going out. Um, so consider that, you know, this might be a busy year for the home as well. Um, and so making it inviting in a place that you might find as well that at some point you have to, yeah, you have to kick people out because they're like, oh, it's so comfortable here. I just feel so chilled. I can talk about anything, you know. That's what it was like for me. And I was like, okay... But uh, it's like 10 o'clock now, so I need to go to bed. <laughs> um, yeah, create harmony and balance across your life. This is a year where you really want to address the balance of everything. So you will notice that you want and need more harmony, more balance, more peace, more comfort. Um, complete any of your homeworks. Spend time at home with your family. Um, with your loved ones make time for that build it into your schedule if uh, family and friends come to you and say oh you know I'm putting on an event or I've got a show to do uh, go ahead be there for your people it will be really appreciated this year and it will earn you some kudos possibly for you know later down the line um make time for your people maintain family um you know family relationships and stuff uh, be of service to others, especially your family or your wider circle of friends. Uh, really examine your marriage because um, this number also rules divorce as well, believe it or not. Um, this is a year for you to really look at your, if you're in a relationship, if you're in a partnership, this is the year to really do an overhaul, a maintenance, you know, as they say in Mr. and Mrs. Smith, pop the hood and have a look at the engine, you know, poke about, see if everything's all right. Uh, this is a good year for you to have heart to hearts with your partner, to really sit with them and, and discuss where do we see ourselves going? How do we view our relationship? What does our marriage feel like? Has it lost the spark? Okay, well, what can we do about putting the spark back in it? Um, how can we really rediscover each other and really realign our goals for the future? Um, yeah, beautify your home, 
especially, and also yourself. You know, pay attention to maintaining this wonderful vehicle, your body. Um, it's a really good use of the energy for a six year. Uh, learn to take good care of yourself as well. This is a thing as well. Although you're here to be of service on over the course of the year six, you can only ever really take care of people as well as you know how to take care of yourself. So my my advice actually would be then to start there, start with yourself, and then start to expand it. Right. So once you've got that whole self care thing down, and you know self care and maintenance and all the rest of it, apply it to the marriage, apply it to then the kids, apply it to the home, apply it to the family, apply it to the friends. And it will just become a sort of, you know, a, a self-sustaining ball of beauty and care and love and attention. Um, learn self-reflection and appreciation. So this is important, especially for the lessons. Um, and it will stop you falling into some of the lessons or the unconscious expression of the personal year six. If you find ways to um, to pat yourself on the back, to praise yourself when you've done something good, when you've done something kind, when you've been there for someone. And this isn't about like, oh yeah, well, you know, I did this for them, so how great am I? Um, it's more a case of just having that self-appreciation and saying, wow, you know what? Um, look at everything that I've been able to achieve and offer and give to others. If you can do that for yourself, you won't need it from outside and that will stop you from becoming resentful, manipulative, all of that stuff. Um, so it's a year to find uh, or enhance love, definitely. Uh, it's a year for you to learn how to be your best friend, your own best friend, not to, to need or rely on anybody else for friendship, because uh, there'll be a lot of it, right? But this is about you discovering how to be uh, your own best friend, so to speak. Uh, be very careful what you agree to, because getting out of it in a six year is going to be a lot harder than you expect. And this is a one of the key pieces of advice. So for each year, personal year vibration, I've given a key piece of advice. And for the six year, whatever you agree to, responsibility, reliability, right? If you break bonds or promises over the course of the six year, it will really nab you in the butt, certainly at a later date. So whatever you commit to, make sure you're willing to go the whole hog and see it through, right? Um, just like in your one year, I, I said to everybody, be careful, like try everything, but don't truly start anything that you don't mean to complete or have in your life for the long haul because it will follow you for the nine or next nine or 10 year cycle. Whereas in the six year, it's contained to the year, but whatever you agree to do for someone, show up for someone, whatever, uh, they'll hold you to it. And you might sort of be like, oh, you know what, I wish I hadn't agreed to this. So just whatever you do agree to, make sure it's something that you intend to see through to completion. Um, key other, another key piece of advice, quickly set your responsibilities to yourself and others. Um, and also maintain your relationships. That's a, a really big one. Maintenance is a big, big thing for this year. So with that said, that is your personal year six in a nutshell. Um, let me know in the comments how it's going for you, what you love, what you loathe. Um, also, uh, you know, whether you're watching this today, whether you're watching it tomorrow, uh, next month, next year, 10 years from now, um, this is always going to be, you know, it's always going to be here. It's always going to be relevant for when you're experiencing a personal year six vibration. I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance itself. Have an amazing six year. Take care and I'll see you soon.